morning guys it's uh, Wednesday uh, just before 10 a.m. I'm just have a quick look at the euro yen and the trades uh, that set up for me and subsequently what happened for them uh, so coming to the uh, to the chart at this point uh, what I've done the same as usual is that black line is the start of my 6 a.m. Uh, data so anything to the right of there is live the blue line is my long trigger and the red line is my short trigger they were taken off the previous uh, completed 4 hour bars open and close levels. I came to the chart a bit late this morning. Uh, I've had a bit of a rough night. I've got a bit of uh, a bit of man flu coming on. So I had a, a sleepless night. So I had a bit of a lie and I came to the charts about half seven. Um, as I came to the charts, I could look, look back at what's happened uh, since the six o'clock start. Uh, and we can see that there was a trade set up that did happen with the, the bias change there um, short so we had a, a lower low there and then the next high breached the previous high so that was a higher swing high so that's classed as an alternate bias change so there would have been an entry above that level there um, however I wasn't around to take that at the time I came to the charts around this sort of time now at the far right of the charts so although the trade would have triggered it wouldn't have hit first target so I could potentially have put a limit order in um, I've stopped doing that recently I've chose to wait um, and see whether the the trade actually or the price actually comes back down below um, what of what that original entry price would have been and then uh, replace my stop order uh, so I didn't do anything at this point I thought I'll wait for a new trade to set up so as the price goes on um, see what happens so I got to this point came back down to the long trigger level uh, so straight away I started marking off the um, highs and lows again as you can see it made a bias change set up there at the long trigger level because uh, price was already um, changed to the downside I would need to look for a bias change to the long side to get me into a new trade so that set up there with the low lower high higher low and higher high so my entry was above that bar there which including the rounding up and the spreads uh, came to about 123.10 with the stop uh, below this first blue arrow there uh, that trade triggered for me didn't quite get to first target level it came out down and We'll go through the chart subsequently see there stopped me out so I was then back to looking for new trade setups again um, for the scalper and swing portion so I started doing uh, the marking off of the highs and the lows as we move across there so we've got a high lower low that breached that uh, low there so price is pointing down at that point making lower highs lower lows on the way down so move across so what I, what I saw was the high lower low and then a higher high so again that's a bias change an alternate bias change set up above that level there uh, which coincidentally was the same entry price at 123.10 uh, with my <coughs> with the stop going at the lowest part of that retracement after the trade had set up <coughs> so we move on you can see the trade Moved quite nicely in my direction. Managed to take out the first scalper target, and then it has subsequently um, come back down and stopped out to where we are now. So I started the process of marking off the highs and the lows again. So as you can see, the price is pointing down at this point. Now we're at 10 a.m. now, so there will be a new, um, new trigger levels, new bars to signify my trade setup. Um, so we'll just have a quick look at the 240 minute chart you can see there the previous completed 4 hour bar <coughs> um, the open and close is obviously going to be less than 10% of an average day move um, so as it's a bullish bar what I'm going to do is put my short trigger to the low of the bar and my long trigger to the close of the bar so if we have a quick look, oops, wrong screen. 
Uh, quick look at that. The low of the bar is 22.78, and the close of the bar is 22.98 and two tenths. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll move that to 22.98 and two tenths. Not far off from where it is there, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, should be <coughs> around that sort of level. Um, so I'll now start counting the highs and lows again and looking for a new long setup. Um, so that's what's happened on the Euro yen. I had a couple of trades set up, uh, full loss, first swinger target, uh, first scalper target, sorry, and then the rest taken out. So it's now just back to looking for setups. Um, a pound dollar trade on. That's hit um, scalper and first swing target. So have a hopefully we have another fantastic day like we did yesterday, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thanks for watching and listening again.